Hey guys, and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about the new Urban Decay All Nighter Foundation. Now, I've already done a first impressions on this foundation. I have been using it for over a week now, and I am ready to give you my final thoughts on this. My first impressions video, I was on the fence, kinda of iffy, didn't really know if it was gonna work out for me. So, I am now ready to give you my opinion. When I talk about this foundation, I'm gonna be kind of um, comparing it to the Urban Decay Naked Skin because that is what I am used to using. And if you haven't seen the first impressions video, I will link that down below. I, in that video, I showed you side by side on my hand the two different foundations. I'm not gonna do that again today. So if you wanna see that, go ahead and look at that video. I'm mostly just gonna be talking about the All Nighter and letting you know if this is a foundation that I will continue to use or not. If you haven't seen my first impressions and you don't know anything about this, this is Urban Decay's new All Nighter, um, All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation, full coverage matte finish oil free. <laughs> Has a pump, which is always a plus in my book. It is it is very full coverage and it you can build it up. I don't use very much of it at all because it it doesn't take much. So when I first tried out this foundation, I had issues with it looking with my skin looking textured and dry and just cakey all in this area because I have very dry skin. Um, the first two times I wore it, it, it looked really awful. Like I wore it to church and it just looked like a desert all through here. And um, so what I did, I decided that I wanted to try, wanted to try the foundation with argon oil because my skin was just being dried out. It's like the foundation was just zapping the moisture out of my face. So I needed to add something in there. So what I would do is do one pump of the foundation on the back of my hand, and then I would take the Josie Maron Argon Oil and put two drops of that in the foundation. And um, the, I wore that for a few days and that seemed to work. I didn't have any more cakey issues, no more texture issues. It, it was actually helping. So um, I actually today wanted to see if it was just my skin that was dry the first couple of times I wore it or if the argon oil was really making that big of a difference. So today I wore, I put half of the foundation on just by itself and then half of it on with argon oil in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you in close and I want you to see how it sets on the skin. It really has been fine by itself since then. Here, I'm just going to bring you in so you can see that there's not really much of a difference. So hold on. All right, you're scary close, but here we go. So. I hope that you can see this. I can't really tell by the screen if you can see how it is or not, but this side right here is the side where I just used the foundation. And then this side over here is where I put argon oil in the foundation as well. So I don't know if you can see see how it looks on there. Um, to me, there's not really any difference. I think that as long as my skin is well hydrated, this foundation sits very well on the skin. It's um, pretty flawless. Like I said, I don't use a ton of it because I don't normally wear a full coverage foundation. So yeah, I don't normally wear a full coverage foundation, so I've had to get used to this and different ways of applying it. But, and when I wear this foundation, I typically like to use the Too Faced Concealer because it is a very hydrating concealer, so anything I can do to add more moisture into the skin. So if you have normal skin, normal to oily skin, this foundation you may actually really, really love. Um, it is pretty matte finish. It dries down very quickly. The Naked Skin Foundation stays pretty dewy and I have to set it with powder. This foundation, I don't even have to set. I normally just set where I put concealer. But this dries down fairly quickly and it, it's a nice finish. It definitely feels like I'm wearing more makeup than when I'm wearing the Naked Skin, but it doesn't feel super heavy. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a mask. This is not going to, by any means, replace the Naked Skin Foundation for me. That will still be my daily go-to foundation, but for when I want to get a little more dressed up, have a little bit more coverage, I will definitely be using the All Nighter foundation. But if you want to actually see me applying the foundation, I did that in my first impressions. So again, I will leave that link below so you can see the application of it. In the video, I ended up using a beauty blender, but I do actually use my uh, Sigma F80 brush to apply it. It does fine. I don't know why, but the first time I did it, it just it felt a little like harder to blend out, but it's because I was used to the naked skin. So, all right, well that's it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this and I hope that it was helpful. 
If you have any questions about the foundation, something I forgot, something I didn't mention, just ask me below and I will help if I can. Alright, so that's it for this time, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye! Was there anything else I need to say about the foundation? So, yeah, I think that's about it about the... And as far as...